Hello, this is Spire V2. I'm going to be doing a small review here about the game Power Star Golf. It's a $20 Xbox title. I have some friends who aren't playing the game and I figure why not get them a, a chance to see what this game is about. Obviously, when you first look at the game, it's a golf game. But one of the things that stands out most about this game, at least immediately I should say, is the art style. This feels like a Pixar experience. All the nice curves, almost has like a late 60s feel. What's really interesting though is it feels very particularly like an Incredibles game. It's as though the heroes of the Incredibles universe decided to take a break and go golfing. Our character here, Frank, is an ex-astronaut. And this style permeates through everything, including, including the caddies. The goals of the game are listed out before you start playing the game, before you start playing the green actually, and you'll see them here and it kind of tells you what it takes and what your prize will be, and those, those prizes are credits which are used to buy booster packs for customization. We'll get to that later. Right here I've zoomed in using the Y button, lets you see where you're going to hit, and you hit the X button here and it goes to your swing, hit it again and it's going to be exactly where you hit it, and you want to try and get that as close as possible to what you're hitting at. And of course, you know, you land on the green. It's a very simple process, but it is by no means easy. Once you land, it lists out about how far you went, and you get an idea of how you're doing. There's also minor challenges in the game that keep the game interesting and show you a bunch of cool things, get extra points, and so on and so forth. Pressing the Y button, as you can see, always gets you in there. And you notice I move the D-pad, will actually put where I hit the ball particularly. It's very handy. Now here I'm going to show you, I just hold, held the X button on a different course, of course, and it shows you that you can do these powerful hits like this. And each character has their own. It has its own style. And because, you know, Frank's an astronaut, you know, breaks the sound barrier, sounds like it's coming in, and all that cool stuff. What else is interesting, though, is along with Frank's, Frank's hits, your caddies, which you can also get alternates of, each have their own abilities as well. And the caddy I'm currently using, her ability is to analyze your playstyle on the field, and sometimes she'll give you verbal words just automatically, but particularly her skill comes into play when you're much closer to the hole, and we'll see this in a minute here. That's a perfect shot, that's when you hit it spot on. So right here, you'll see I'm going to hold the button, and it'll show a trail of where the ball is likely to, or where it will go, so that means I adjust it accordingly. It's a very simple process. And, of course, you get so many uses of these, but you can boost them with what's called boosters in the game. To get these things, boosters and other customizations, you go to the store. And using the credits that you've earned in-game, you purchase booster packs. This is similar to Mass Effect 3 or, the, or Rise. Obviously, you get better gear and higher tiers, with the lower ends being just boosters, which are just like one-time uses if you want to get like more credits when you enter the game or you know, have better stability or accuracy on the field. This this isn't akin to a pay-for-play because there's a, a random chance. I actually like this model, but it does mean you could just have a really terrible draw. Mix this with the game's difficulty, and this could be the one thing that turns you off on this game. It's so simple and cheap that that's really the biggest eyesore. Well, that and one more thing we'll come up to. The game has a lot of little interesting things, like you'll notice as the camera panned by, you saw my name. It remembers the last time you swung on that hole, on that stroke, and it, and it tries to get you your best hits. As you'll see here, I pass mine, and so it's going to be like, hey, you, you did a great job, Spire, you know, you're a chump, but, you know, here's your, here's your score. And it'll give you some credit for doing it. See, personal best. The game also shows world records and your friends on the field as well, but since in the, uh, for whatever reason my friends uh, have been gone from this match. I don't know if it's because I beat them, uh, but the reality is they're gone. But usually your friends will be on the, the round as, as well. Unfortunately this game has no multiplayer, and the closest thing you got going for it is you have uh, asynchronous multiplayer and a rivals mode, which basically remembers all your friends' hits. But ultimately, I think this is a good game, and for 20 bucks, people should give it a chance. Look for more videos online to see if you like it too. I hope you do. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. Good luck. If you like this, let me know what I sucked at, what I did good at. Think about making more of these. So, you know, throw me a bone, and uh, follow me if you're interested. Give me some suggestions. Take it easy.